Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run well, we're going to be having a look at this. This is a mini remote control submarine and the company that makes this is called Happy Cow. And some time back I looked at a remote control submarine that you had to assemble yourself and that was quite popular so I thought I'd get this particular one because it's quite small and compact and a bit different. So anyway, like all my videos, let's get it out of the box and have a bit of a closer look and see if this is something that's pretty cool to use. Okay, so the first thing out the uh, little box that we were just looking at is a manual and this will cover the uh, installing of the batteries and setting it up and also how to operate the little remote control mini submarine. So you get that first out the box. Next is this rather unusual USB cable and this USB cable is for charging the little mini sub because that has a built-in battery and it has a very unusual connection on this end. It's basically priority to this kind of cable which is a shame because if you lose this cable it's harder to um, charge your mini submarine but they do include this cable in the box. Next is the little remote itself and as you can see it's kind of compact but squarish looking which is unusual. You've got a couple of LEDs, an on and off switch, uh, up and down left and right controls on either side. You've got a button here which I'll find out later what it does. You've got a port for the antenna and you've also got this little compartment here which has got a little wire that seems to match the USB cable that I had out earlier. So obviously that's another way of charging something. And it also takes four AAA batteries. So that's the, the remote. And finally we've got the little mini sub and overall it's extremely small and quite cute compared to the one I looked at last time which was much bigger. Now this has a couple of LED lights on the front so that can light up. Um, you've got your little propeller blade there for going up and down and then two on here for doing left and right and forward. A manually operated uh, little rudder um, and a charging port on the bottom here. Now there doesn't appear to be any on and off switches and from what it looks like you get your remote which I've got batteries in now and I've attached the aerial and you turn it on and I believe that's a pairing button on the top there to pair it with the little servos in here. So it should operate once I plug this little cable into it. So this little cable will go to the bottom like so and see we've got some lights now showing up and I think if I push this yes it will operate it. So now that it's actually running so that's operating that all the all the switches are working now so everything's operating it's all paired up so next what I want to do is basically take this into a bathtub and we'll test it out and see how well it performs in a bathtub but the lights are quite bright aren't they okay so welcome to my bathroom we're going to do another test of a mini submarine uh, we did a sort of more bigger one and this one's a smaller mini one like I said in the video earlier now the cool thing about this is it doesn't actually have an on and off switch. It basically senses when it's in the water and it will turn on. So as soon as I put this in the water, you can see it's actually turned on and it's lit up. Now I've got the remote here and if I operate the remote, you can see the submarine moving around. Well there you go, there's my quick look and unboxing and review of this mini submarine and overall I think it's pretty decent. It works quite fine in a bath and it'd probably be just as fine in a swimming pool. It's not probably suitable for say a lake or maybe in the sea because it probably wouldn't operate too well out in that sort of environment but for something where it's a smaller area it's great and it's fun. It's probably not as elaborate and as interesting as the bigger one that I looked at some time ago but it is quite neat and portability is good about this. It also is quite cool that it switches on and off when it senses the water so that's um, another neat feature about it. And the remote is quite compact and also the plus that the actual box it comes in is also a nice little display case so there's a lot of pluses for it. So overall I'd recommend this. Anyway I'm Justin and as always thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.